Members and friends of Mount Lebanon Lutheran Church, we're glad that you have joined us tonight for Wednesday evening devotions. Mount Lebanon Church is located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and we have been learning that many people throughout the country and around the world have been joining us for our virtual worship on Sunday and also on Wednesday night. So thank you all for joining us tonight. We're glad that you're here. I want to begin tonight with a passage from the Bible a verse from Psalm 100. Let us hear God's word together. Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. I learned this psalm when I was a child, and I was always filled with joy hearing about entering worship and bringing the joy of the Lord through singing. And tonight we have a special guest uh, from our church who's joining us tonight, and I would like to introduce her. She's a member of our church choir. Many of you know her. Her name is Charlene Canty. And Charlene, it's such a joy to have you with us tonight. I want to share a little bit about Charlene before I ask her a few questions. This is a kind of get to know your choir member night. And so I'm really glad that you're, you're here with us. Charlene has performed uh, outside the church, of course. She's been performing in Pittsburgh for, for a number of years. She has been acclaimed for her sumptuous voice and beautiful tone. She is an accomplished classical singer. She has performed major roles in Don Giovanni, Norma, Porgy and Bess, The Marriage of Figaro, and La Boheme. Some of you know of these musicals, and you know, not everybody gets to perform in musicals like that, but Charlene has this wonderful voice, and she has been blessing audiences for a number of years, and so we're glad that you're with us tonight, and we're, we're certainly glad that you're a part of our church choir. Thank you. I have a few questions for you tonight in this Get to Know You Night, if you don't mind uh, sharing a little bit. I do want to say that uh, Charlene has a day job downtown in Pittsburgh at a law firm, and she is a part of our choir, but, but she works during the week on Grant Street. Is that yes, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So here's the music questions tonight. We don't want to talk about the law. The law. <laughs> we don't want to do that. No, we are trying to keep our social distance, Governor Wolf. We're good. All right. Let's begin here. I want to uh, ask uh, you, what has been your most fulfilling performance in music outside the church, of course. What has been your most fulfilling performance? It's hard to narrow it down. There's been quite a few, but I think the most recent one that I can recall is uh, the production that I did with the Pittsburgh Festival Opera, which was a gathering of sons, and it was their social justice uh, series that they were doing, music Wonderful. that makes a difference. Yeah. So it was really um, heartwarming and a really great experience. And where, where was that held? Uh, it was produced by the Pittsburgh Festival Opera, so it was, we did like multiple performances throughout the city, and okay. then we ended up with uh, their summer festival at Winston Church. Winston Church? Winchester Thurston. Winchester, thank you. Winchester yeah. Thurston. <laughs> yeah. So um, uh, we performed it there as well. Wonderful, wonderful. And you've been a part of other choirs in the city as well. Yes, I sing all throughout the city, a lot of freelance, but I sing with the Pittsburgh Camerata, I sing with the Opera Chorus of Pittsburgh Opera, 
I bought choir. I've done things with them. And of course, there's no better place to sing than in our congregation, right. yes. of course. <laughs> Let's just say that, everybody. Well, let me ask you a question. I've often heard of, of great uh, voices, great singers talking about uh, their early years and when it first became uh, noticeable that they had a, a great voice. And so well, when did you first have this awareness that your voice was or just might be an extraordinary voice with a, with a great gift for, for singing? Actually, I started pretty late as far as classical singing goes. I sang in choirs, obviously, in high school, but I didn't really take it seriously until I decided, like my senior year of high school, that I would go and study um, formally for voice and things like that. So I hadn't even taken a voice lesson privately until I started high or college. And I'd like our church to know, and those who are watching, that Charlene holds both undergraduate and graduate degrees in voice performance. And so you have really devoted a good part of your life to, mm -hmm. to training the beautiful voice that you have. And yes. it is an extraordinary voice. Thank you. Well, then uh, my last question for tonight, what has been your favorite uh, sacred music that you've sung in our church as a part of our choir? I would have to say, hands down, that it was the piece that Larry introduced me to, which was The Way to Emmaus by okay. Weinberger. And we did that here a couple years ago. I remember when you sang that. It was, yeah. it was quite moving. It's an amazing piece. Yeah. And, and some of you will remember uh, a few weeks ago, the gospel reading was about the walk to Emmaus from the 24th chapter of Luke. And uh, three years ago, Charlene uh, sang uh, uh, that gospel story in a beautiful rendition of Luke chapter 24. And really, I'll never forget that. That was just an extraordinary a time for me. So I want to thank you for joining us tonight, but I do want to share a little story as a devotional tonight for what your music and the music of our entire choir means to me. And I'm going to try to remember this story. It's a more of a folk tale, but there was an ancient village and there was a village chief who oversaw the village and the village was having lots of uh, trouble. There was a uh, just a lot of famine and desperation, and the chief had to leave to go find help for the village. But before he left, he told his three sons to look after the village while he was gone. His one son, he put him in charge of taking care of the food supply for the village. The other son, he put in charge of taking care of the heat and the, the, the fuel to keep the village uh, heated. And then the third son was in charge of the worship and the singing. Well, what happened, uh, there was a good uh, period of time that went by, and when the chief finally uh, returned, he found his village utterly desolated. And he called his three sons together and said, what, what happened? And to his first son, he said, didn't you provide food? And he said, yes, father, I did provide the food. To his second son, he said, didn't you provide wood for the fires to keep people warm at night? He said, yes, I did all that. But then to his third son, he said, didn't you provide the worship and the singing? And his reply was, Father, the times were so bad, I thought it would be inappropriate to be singing when times were so bad. But the father said, I now understand why the village has not been sustained in my absence, because though food and fuel were provided, the spirit of the community has been lost because you failed to sing. And that's how I feel right now, Charlene, about this time we're going through. Of course, we know about the material things that everyone needs. And the government and the churches and throughout the country and the world, people are working so hard to provide what is material for the sustenance of life. But for me, it is the joy of singing, the joy of music, the joy of song which uplifts the human spirit. And that's what you bring to the life of our church. I want to share that right on camera. What a joy it is to have you in our church choir. And I want to say on behalf of all the church just how much we appreciate our church choir and what the music means to us. So thank you uh, for that very much. Thank you. And uh, anything else you'd like to share uh, about yourself before I uh, wrap things up here? No. No? Well, I got, I got one more question. Okay. Would you just like to look in the camera and tell the church just how much you love being a part of our choir? I really do love being a part of this choir. It's amazing music, amazing people and fellowship. 
So I'm so happy when I came here. That's called a leading question. <laughs> but I also want to invite people into our church choir, and we're always looking for new voices, and, and uh, uh, Charlene is like the anchor of the soprano section. So uh, whether you're a soprano, an alto, a tenor, or a bass, reach out to our music director, Larry, and he would be glad to meet with you and talk about becoming a part of the choir. Now, usually at Wednesday evening devotions, I end with a prayer, but tonight we're gonna end in a special way with our special guest, Charlene Canty. She's gonna end the evening with a special prayer, the Lord's Prayer. I'm grateful that Charlene has been with us tonight, and so I want you all now to, to close your eyes if you'd like, but certainly enter into this time of prayer as we conclude Wednesday evening devotions. And thank you all for joining us tonight. I'm very glad you've been with us. Thank you.